Hello, this is Beth Russell with Studio Sapan, and I'm going to show you some concentration areas for using the facial steamed herbal compress on the face, scalp, and upper chest. So the purpose of this routine can change based on the day or why you're doing it. So some people might want to focus more on the scalp if you're having more of a um, issue with helping support the hair, hair growth, um, vitality of your scalp itself. You might want to work more along the ridges of the occipital line or the sides of the neck if you're having tension headaches. Um, you might want to just use the facial points for a facelift and toning and plumping treatment, um, or you can also use them if you're having some jaw pain. And then the chest points can help um, along with the other points with um, symptoms of anxiety or sometimes even depression or symptoms that are associated with a lack of focus too. So um, finally, of course, this, this area will help to open your sinuses, um, support your breathing, um, and anytime we are calming our bodies, we're also supporting that system of our deeper breathing, more relaxed breathing. So um, I have here two facial herbal compresses. I'm just going to use two at a time to show you um, some of the areas we can treat, you know, bilaterally. So um, when you first bring these out of the steamer, you want to wrap them in a towel if they are, you know, steaming hot. Um, these have cooled down a little bit, so I'm just going to use them as a demonstration. So here we are going to start on the scalp when they're really hot because your hair buffers the heat. And you can use them directly on the scalp immediately. And we're going to turn and go down the back of the scalp, back of the head, and hold at the occipital line. So you can do this as many times as you would like. Um, when I'm first doing it and it's hotter, I like to go faster, maybe with like a little bounce to activate the tissues of the scalp. A little bit of a bounce. And you know, each side may feel a little bit different, so it might not be perfectly symmetrical. The areas that feel better from side to side. So then as they cool down, you can do more of a slow pressing rocking movement. And you can focus on any areas like for me right here, this is actually helping opening open up my sinuses already. Um, so when we come to the front, again, um, the front of the hairline, I come back to over and over as a very important um, point, a very important line for helping to um, relax your whole body in order to fall asleep at night or to um, just reduce overthinking and kind of this um, type of, you know, like, I wouldn't say necessarily anxiety, but just, you know, too many thoughts kind of issues. So now we can um, also, I love this technique of just kind of overlapping pressure, coming straight back the cent along the center line, and we're doing little rocking movements, rocking, and then holding back here. You can hold on um, at the center line, you can hold on either sides of the spine where your head attaches to your neck. Then you can follow that occipital ridge, the bony bump of the base of your skull back to behind your ears. So put a little point behind that one because this point behind the ear is um, very key with um, helping again with sleep. And so um, now as we're going on to the neck, we never want to do both sides of the neck at the same time, just in case you're pressing on the carotid artery. We never want to cut off that blood flow to the brain on both sides at once. So um, in this area, we're just going to 
make sure we only use one compress at a time. And so when we're using these compresses on the side of the neck, again, we got to check the temperature. The longer you hold it on, the hotter it's going to feel. So depending on the heat level and your comfort level, that will determine kind of the rhythm, pace, and how long you hold the compress on your skin. So, um, so after you've done the whole scalp, um, I like to, you know, keep doing lines that are following the curve of the ear and ending up at the occipital line again. So I do the center line, kind of these two corners here, the temples back, and then just above the ear and back down. So um, that covers the main part of the scalp. Um, next, we can come either down to here if you're feeling like your chest is tight, or you can um, work on the face. So I'm just going to keep going down. So I put these markers on just to give you an idea of some of the three main lines that are running through your face. So of course, they're the center line. Our faces are not symmetrical. So it's even, you know, this is actually going to help with your perception of left, right, um, and those motor, fine motor skills working with your face. So then there's a second line that basically comes down the pupil line, sides of your mouth. And it even kind of continues down here at the base of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. So there it is. Okay. So you can see. And then under the clavicle as well. Um, and then the last one is basically, you know, the borders of the face. So we're coming around. We have here, oop, hi, temples, jaw, here under the cheekbone. And then we, we're coming basically, you know, behind the ear. Um, and then I think of this continuation out actually to these major points at the pectoralis um, major, um, which helps support the lungs. So we're really connecting the sides of a face, side of a neck, and then front, just, just in front of the shoulder on the chest. So sides, center of the pupil line, and then actual true center line. So um, I like to start actually just on the forehead, and then you can rock up to the um, hairline. So again, I'm following the contour of the face. Holding here is very grounding and centering. You can also hold two places at once. I like to do this kind of upper and lower together. And think about bringing the breath and blood and fluids from your chest up to your head and back down again. This is something we want to do to encourage, you know, the blood flow and to encourage harmonization of the yin and yang channels in our body. So then we have these two points above the center line of the pupil on the forehead. These ones help with eyesight. They help with forehead tension. Um, and they're just very big release points in general for the muscles in this area. And when the um, herbal compress is cooler, I like to just hold and rock this area. If it's hotter, you can roll up. Roll up. Then we're coming down to another point here, the sides of the nostrils. So it should be under the cheekbone. If you press up, it should feel a little um, tender spot here on both sides. So you can kind of roll out, roll out. And I'm holding them at a 45 degree angle to the face. And I'm following the contour of the face again, too. So this one, you can rock. This way, you can rock up. You're basically always going upward and outward. This one also can really help open up lymphatic drainage um, to help reduce under eye bags, puffiness. Um, and 
even potentially reduce some dark circles under the eyes. Um, and then also, of course, helping with any inflammation here and sinus drainage. So now it becomes really important to work on the sides of the face, working in front of the ears. And we want to really kind of start in the meat of the jaw and roll up under the cheekbone. So we want to, we're basically pressing the muscles and fat and connective tissue against the bone to provide an extra pressure to help release that connective tissue. That's part of the massage. We're taking advantage of our, the own bones of our face in order to facilitate that massage. Now you can actually even, this is one of my favorite moves, is actually covering the ears and just rolling them around. This is super relaxing. And when they're just the perfect temperature, this feels amazing. So this actually, when you're moving and massaging the ears, that's helping to relax some of the connective tissue around the ears and around the scalp and neck too. So then I can come down here and work on the chin, which often is an un, um, unaddressed tight area. Of course, it's on your jaw, but we don't think about this as a jaw. We think about this as a jaw, but they are all connected. So can even consider doing this. Now we can work this way. These points are over a little nerve opening. This is one reason I highlighted these. And then you come up, as you come out towards the main muscle of your jaw, the masseter, you can feel how tight that is compared to immediately in front of it. There's not a lot of muscle. Then you can feel the bump of where you meet the muscle. This is a very productive area to massage as well. And again, we're coming up to the ears. And one at a time, roll down the side of the neck. And when I say roll, I'm just meaning we're rolling that way. You don't have to try to roll along the side like that. That's a little bit too complicated to do on your own. That usually takes two hands. So since we're really just doing this with one hand per compress, it's easier. Okay, so make sure we get both sides. Coming down this way, behind the ear. And you can roll back to front, you can roll top to bottom, as long as we're basically on the side here. And then once you come to the front of that area, we want to roll front to back. So you can basically go down the neck, front to back. And then when we come down to the collarbone, there's an area here where your scalenes, which are really tight muscles that attach between your cervical vertebrae, your neck vertebrae, and then the first ribs here. They're really tight muscles that come through this area, come under the collarbone. This is a very important area to use the gentle warmth of the herbal compress. You don't have to press hard at all. Just hold it over this area, the gentle pressure downward onto the collarbone itself. So we're basically just pressing down onto the collarbone, not in to the body, pressing onto the down onto the bone. But we're holding the flat part over the scalene area here. And again, this is an area that regulates blood pressure. It accesses the vagus nerve a little bit. Um, so if you have any tendency to low blood pressure, be careful of this area um, because it could potentially lower your blood pressure. And again, now we follow it under here. And now we're coming down into the sternum area. So again, I like to do this. You can experiment with a lot of different combinations when you have two. 
it's kind of fun to play around with them and see, you know, do these points feel like they connect with each other? Um, if so, is it is it relaxing? Is it energizing? Um, and you can even use these, you know, a lot of these techniques, um, a lot of these points are used in the emotional freedom technique, you know, with tapping. Um, and that involves affirmations that you're saying on along with different points. So um, I'm not necessarily recommending that exact thing here, but you can tap these points. I find that, you know, it's so individual what the different points mean that um, I like to encourage people to think of their own affirmations um, or just try to relax your mind and not think of anything while you're tapping it and let your body receive it. So the sternum is an extra good place to tap because you really get the resonance of your lungs and it vibrates this whole flat bone of the sternum and helps to um, move some of the connective tissue underneath, just vibrates it. This point here is at the um, confluence of the two points of the collarbone here. And I never press in to my neck. I just use this point to press down. So you can kind of do these two points here. If you feel like you need some kind of stronger grounding, grounding or reassurance, this is a nice combination. You're pressing down onto the collarbone, not into the neck. Down to the collarbone, and then this one is into the sternum. Okay, now we come out to the sides here. Um, I put a triangle here because this is a very large area, kind of like this point here. We have um, just tapping this whole spot, actually from the sternum all the way out here. But these points are really great to just hold the herbal compress when they're really warm. You can even you know, put a layer of the towel underneath it and just hold these here. This is one you can totally, you know, press against a wall. Um, it's an area, you know, um, people use uh, those little pressure point balls um, to really dig into the pectoralis here. And I really prefer the herbal compresses in this case because they're not going to irritate the tissue as much and they won't irritate any nerves. And they will actually have an anti-inflammatory effect and stimulate your lungs. So this is really, really good to do in this area. And you can do it on skin or through clothing, either way. So now um, we have to make sure that we get to the top of the shoulders. And the reason I didn't put any points here is this, this is actually just kind of like a free for all. Um, you know, we want to get to the points on the, you know, the top of the shoulder here and roll over. So um, we're kind of basically coming from the back rolling over the apex of the muscle and coming to the front. And this is going to be different on each person. The contour on this one is different for each person. So we want to um, maybe start at where your neck meets your shoulder and come this way, come around, from the back to front, roll over, roll over, roll over. And then you can also just hold, hold, hold. Hold it on any place that is feeling more tight or that feels like needs to stretch. You can always do an active kind of a dynamic movement with stretching and massaging at the same time. So this is really great for when you are having tension headaches, eye strain, um, or if you are just wanting to again send your energy downward. This is one that's really effective for that. Do not do this if you're pregnant or might be pregnant. Um, it's traditionally contraindicated for pregnancy using acupuncture and strong acupressure. But for everyone else, it's really relaxing. And then we have the other side. Again, starting where your neck is me meeting the shoulder coming down towards your bony part of the shoulder. Um, this again, you can also, if you're resting on the couch, you can just stick these here and lay back. 
and that feels wonderful. You can do the same thing um, with the center line here. Um, this is, you find the biggest bump of your spine where it meets your neck and press there gently and then come up under the occipital line. So we're going from where your the base of the spine of the neck is all the way up to where it meets your skull. Um, and with this soft herbal compress, you can just press very gently right along the spine up in that direction. Um, and then you can also go on either side of the spine with both of these going up to relax. Okay, so then for good measure, you can always come back up onto the scalp and stimulate again. Um, and then ideally, you would do this um, before a foot bath if it's at night, or you would just do this during the morning, um, either before or after you get into some movement exercise. Um, so the next thing that I will talk about is the um, actual, more of like a direct scalp treatment, and that is going to be in the next video. I hope you enjoyed that.